Detective Logan? Well, that's good detective work, sweetheart. You should try to join the force. <laughs> yeah, I already did that five years ago. Well, try and try again. Good, you're a queen. I've got a case for you. Chief, this is the 40th dead girl in as many weeks as... Wait, where's Logan? Let's go, Slowpoke. <laughs> I do not care about dead girls. <laughs> Welcome to the Glendon Trail PD. I don't exactly work well with others. Detective Logan, Glendon Trail homicide. Well, thank God. I was afraid this was in the Sheriff's Department's jurisdiction. Well, it's not my jurisdiction. Just because a body's on the side of the road doesn't make it the state trooper's problem. Psh, enough. Unless one of you guys want to tell this dead girl's parents why we couldn't find her killer because it wasn't in any of our <laughs> jurisdictions. Poor kid. What do you see? I see a dead girl in the trash. Also, I see glitter on her neck. You think she's a stripper? <laughs> she's a dead girl, isn't she? Sanitation department. Can we say she wasn't found in a pile of trash? <laughs> Fine. You want to tell her parents that? Uh, I'm, I'm bad with parents. Hope you're better with trash. Let's go. I'm sorry. Look, I get emotionally involved. <laughs> And? My daughter was murdered. Your daughter is dead? Times two. My beautiful wife, who I love more than anything in the world, she was killed two years later. Jesus. I lost my sister, too. Murdered? Yeah. From lung cancer. Do you have a girlfriend? Don't you know that anytime you care about a girl, another girl dies? Crazy couple of years with all the women in my life getting murdered. What do you see? I see a dead girl in the trash. People are gonna think you're the one killing these dead girls. Sometimes, I wish it was. Crazy couple of years with all the women in my life getting murdered. That girl's dead. This girl's dead. That girl's dead. That girl's we already dead. know they're dead. I'm telling you, these are all connected. Oh, give me a flippin' break. Why don't you come over to my place for a nice home-cooked meal with me and my family, hmm? He'll be there. That's an order. <laughs> 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 so, Logan, I hope my daughter here isn't giving you too much trouble. Yeah, as long as she's not the one murdering all those girls. <sighs> I forgot to tell you all the girls in his family are dead. Times two. Um, aren't you gonna eat something? Yeah. I think I'm gonna have a liquid dinner tonight. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Got another Amber Alert? No, an autopsy report. Oh, yeah, and another Amber Alert. No phones at the table. Hey, not so fast. Oh my God. Oh my God is right. It's been another murder. <laughs> we gotta get out of here now. Let's go. You know who you remind me of? Who? My two dead daughters. Don't you know that anytime you care about a girl, another girl dies? We're closed, you can't be here. My whole family is dead, girl, so I go wherever the heck I want. Admit it. You're the one killing all those dead girls. What girls? Those girls. What? Nothing's as it seems. Am I right, Hall? Guess I really cared about her. I hope you don't have a daughter and I never meet her. <sighs> She'll be dead in a week. Boy, this day just got really crummy.
Attorney-client privilege. Where do you draw the line? I'll tell you who not to ask. Ruth Diamond Phillips. You, you might remember me from the uh, Dr. Armand case. It was one that I was immediately drawn to. Murder, intrigue, romance, and then it all went to hell. Objection, she wearing evidence? You're free to go. But I picked myself up and I started my own firm, Diamond Phillips and Associates. New client coming in at one o'clock. Well, why don't we ask him to meet me at the restaurant? Oh, hey. Oh, pardon me. All right. The first thing that I noticed about Mr. Jeff uh, was his plump tush. Ms. Diamond Phillips, when I met Ruth, this woman was friendly, she was kind, big head of hair like a, a fern. She seemed like she could be more than a lawyer. For a long time, I was a referee. Oh! Then I became a TSA agent, mm -hmm. you know, protecting the friendly skies. Wow. So uh, I'm chatting with this one guy. So he says, for a friend, yeah. would you mind looking the other way while I send some personal items through the uh, x-ray machines? Sure. Turns out the personal items was uh, 12 pounds of cocaine. Darn it, Jeff! The charges against me were very severe. I guess they caught me sending a bag filled with cocaine through, you know, the x-ray machine. I didn't know. So I was looking to lock down some legal help so I wouldn't get locked up myself. One of those police dogs. Uh could smell from the food court. Uh, That's how smelly this cocaine was, but I don't got a nose like a dog. Treat me like a dog. But uh, things might get dirty. I might get dirty. <laughs> well, cheers to this, huh? Cheers. <laughs> this is a candle. I'm not going to drink a candle. Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeff, I guess, is and will always be the funniest gentleman that I've ever ever met. Well, it's always five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> yeah, right there, Ruru? Some say justice is blind, but she's also insane and horny. And the case of the TSA versus Ref Jeff was no exception. Ringo, see, on a date here, right? Yeah, well, I, well, yeah. Oh, my favorite thing about restaurants is chips. That sort of interaction where you, you're so excited, you feel like you're just first meeting, but you're so comfortable that you feel like perhaps you've known each other for forever. So, uh, Jeff, I, I realize as your attorney that I don't know a lot about you. Um, do you have a family? Oh, yeah. Oh, you do? Huge family. Oh. I really got thousands of people in my family. Well, everyone I meet, I treat like a brother or sister, you know what I mean? Phew. <laughs> you know, speaking of sisters, uh, can I ask you something? Anything. Who's your favorite character on Living Single? Ruth and Jeff's relationship blossomed that night. Jeff's company was like catnip for Ruth, and Jeff was stunned by his newfound ability to lock down plans. Ruth Diamond Phillips. Never cancel on a plan once. Time would slip away from them, and before they knew it, it was the day of Jeff's trial. Mr. Melissa, do you still reside at 359 West Route 28? I do indeed. Uh, I live there with my beautiful sweetheart, Lara. Hey, baby, how are you? And our uh, 15 beautiful children. Say hi, guys. These are good kids. We rescued them from a bunch of scumbags, those people who leave the kids out in the dirt. Ref Jeff and Lara have loosely adopted between 10 and 15 foster children. Oh, yeah, I got a big fan. Something that Ruth Diamond Phillips could have rightfully expected him to mention at some point. Did you or did you not go out to dinner with me and do dancing with me? She's my lawyer, right? I'll allow it. Oh, I just wanted to crucify that Lara. So you're just, uh, well, you're just, well, you are just gorgeous, aren't you? <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, you're gonna tell me that these two people are criminals? Oh, she's actually not. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, so strike that. You know what that man smuggles? He smuggles love for exhibit A. He smuggles hugs for exhibit B. Every single photo that slipped out of my hand, another crack in my uh, beating heart. Would you like to see some more? Of course, these are adorable. At the end of the day, the lawyer in me won out, and the woman in me will have to go home and uh, figure it out, and uh, at least I know how to do that. 
I rest my case, my heart is broken, I'm fine. Thank you. You're so nice. You're, you're really a really nice uh, uh, person. For Ruth Diamond Phillips, the law won out over attraction. Roru, come and join <laughs> oh, us. No, you're no, part no, of no. the family now, Roru. Come here, come here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But I'm still horny. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> <laughs>